Once again, you are welcome to the ultimate voyage through the fabric of human existence. Culture Scarps Trekking. Join us as we take you on an exciting journey through times, revealing the secrets of the past, present, and even the mysterious passageways of prehistoric times. As we go across the cosmos and explore the core of human history, culture, and existence, I'm ecstatic to be your guide. The cultural practice of Zakwa is the prominent kind in the Nijo. Agamakad. Keller. Kamajeta. Kamioa. Kamneria. Sirwa. Kakmazia, Nazima. However, these people intermarry among themselves, a clear indication that the broad clan of Sakwa is made up of descendants who cannot trace their lineage to a single ancestor. The Durango. The Bajarango was a Bantu ethnic group with their own language. They were assimilated by the Lua and adopted many aspects of Vantu and distinguished themselves as a separate group. The Suba as an advantage to go so groups. The majority of the Durango Bay, Lua Abasuba, or Abasuba community, who are Bantu of different ethnic backgrounds, that reside within the borders of Suba Sub County. Moreover, their language, Ekizuba, Ikingo, was also distinct and very different from the Elusuba. Luganda, Luganda, the language spoken by the Lubasuba, particular people owed their allegiance to Sub Fro, whose lineage they were founded. The Majorango Goka, the Jose, the Lu migration into Nyanza. Clans and leadership structures played a pivotal role in Lu society, with exogamous clans organized under a supreme chief known as Ruth. The Council of Elders provided guidance to the supreme chief adorned in special regalia symbolizing their status. Initiation rites, such as the removal of six front teeth, not only tested courage but also held cultural significance, leading a complex tapestry of iconvity. Lu separated into distinct sub- Groups they embarked on diverse paths, intermingling with other communities and assimilating cultural nuances. The Southern Luo, residing in Kenzania, traced their roots to fishing, agriculture, and herding communities in western Kenya. The Durango Luos, once a distinct Bantu ethnic group merged with the Luo, adopting aspects of remigrating some Bantu traditions. The Jokongo go of, such as the Sarati Luos and Imbo Luos, highlights the complexity of their historical narrative. A Bantu ethnic group found common ground with the Lu through intermarriage and cultural exchange. Despite linguistic similarities with the Guzi people, the Kizaru retained aspects of their distinct identity, illustrating the intricate dynamics of Lu cultural bloc in Kenya. Historical blood populations marked by both peaceful coexistence and eventual tensions, shaped the ownership of vast territories around Lake Victoria. The Lewis settlement on the northeastern shores of Lake Victoria, specifically in Nyanza, was not a conquest but a gradual integration. 
the integration, though not without friction, reflects a nuanced history of adaptation, spiritual influence, and eventual terrestrial control, assimilations, and the resilience of the Durango people from fishing practices to musical traditions. The Lewis story is one of complexity and diversity. As the National Museums of Kenya extend an invitation to celebrate this heritage, it is an opportunity for all to delve into the nuanced layers of Lu culture, offering a glimpse into Kenya's vibrant mosaic of traditions. They came from Uganda and settled first in Western Bind and Western, for instance. The Bamulua and Basturum from Basturihiki Banyor. The Lu community's journey through history is marked by a tapestry woven with migration, cultural assimilation, and resilience. Their initiation rites, such as the removal of six front teeth. Served as not only a test of courage but also a profound cultural expression, creating a unique identity within the broader Kenyan landscape. Clans guided by a supreme chief, Ruth, and adorned in distinctive regalia, played a crucial role in shaping the Tenio and Jano Tenio chapter of separation and assimilation. As the various sub groups charted their paths, intermingling with other communities and absorbing diverse cultural elements, the Lu narrative became a mosaic of traditions. The Southern Luo, with roots in fishing, agriculture, and herding communities, established a distinct historical identity. The Durango Luos. A distinct Bantu ethnic group under Wajajid Lua culture, Erid layers, Alaurasia, emerging from interactions with Luyas, traversed a journey from Western Kenya to Saya, embodying the complex dynamics of Lua migration. The Kizuru Luas. Originally a Bantu ethnic group with linguistic similarities to the Guzi people, found common ground with the Luo through intermarriage and cultural exchange. Despite retaining elements of their identity, the Kizaradi Luos, a minority to Abalus of Ekanivi, the Luasiaki Yimbo further enrich the diverse Lu narrative. The Lu's political unity and cultural cohesion, despite historical encounters with indigenous populations, distinguish them as a politico-cultural bloc in Kenya. Their settlement on the northeastern shores of Lake Victoria, while not a conquest, reflects a gradual integration marked by both cooperation and tension. The Luo history, a testament to Kenya's vibrant cultural mosaic, the Luo mosaic, resilience and adaptation, unfolds in seven major sections, each with its unique origin story. The Ramaji Luos, led by the warrior Elder Ramaji Ajwang, embarked on a migration around years ago, settling initially at Ghat Ramaji, Ramaji Hills, in Yimbo before traversing South Nyanza, in North Mara region, Tanzania. The waves of migration, namely Joe, the Jao Kogo subgroup in the Western reaction with the Luyas formed the Tudorak Shikwa the Luyas 
Entering Saya, Durango Luos, once a Bantu ethnic group, became intertwined with Luo culture, adopting aspects while maintaining some Bantu influences. The Kizuru Luos, originally a Bantu group related to the Abaguzi community, integrated with the Luo through intermarriage, adopting Daluo and becoming part of the broader Luo community. Sairati Luos, Berlingarati Bantu, other Luo clans, contributed Nabo, contributed the later forming the Ojwando with distinct groups. Lastly, the other Luos, or Nyokal, represent minority Luo adoptees, clans absorbed into the Luo community through infiltration. The intricate relationships between these sections highlight a history shaped by migrations, cultural exchanges, and assimilations. The Luo people's ability to maintain unity despite diverse ancestral influences underscores their identity and cultural cohesion known as the trans dialect and the standard Daluo dialect spoken by the rest of the Lu people. The convergence of Nilotic and Bantu populations within the Lu community reinforces their unity as a single ethnic group, embracing diverse ancestry while remaining a cohesive entity. As the Luo history unveils the chapters of their migration, cultural assimilate during spirit that binds the Luo people together, the new sayings that the aligned here, rich mosaic of Kenya's diverse heritage, dating back centuries, the stories and traditions of the peoples of Kenya are some of the most fascinating in the world. They have enriched the country through social, economic, political, and cultural activities, each with their own unique stories. Today, communities are officially recognized by the government and are classified into three linguistic groups, the Bantu, the Attic, and the Speakers, the national news stories of the Kikurus, Daija Kikurus, the Kikurus cultures. Many of the cultural practices are still embraced today, but have been influenced by the changes in society. This exhibit celebrates the country's rich heritage through the Luo community. The Luo are the fourth largest ethnic group in Kenya. They speak Dolio, which is part of the Nilotic language group. Known as Ramoji's descendants, the Luo community are in Minister of Kenya, Sir of Kenya, Rek Obama, and the environmental Luos in Kluwerka, Scientist and Nobel Prize winner, Professor Sam Odingo. The Luo are a Nilotic speaking group who are believed to have originated from Sudan and are now settled around the Lake Victoria Basin in Tanzania. Other Luo groups are found in Uganda, Congo, Ethiopia, and Sudan. The Luo people's intricate connection to their environment is woven into the fabric of their daily lives. The rich natural resource around Lake Victoria practices, the modern symbol of resourcefulness, embodying the Luo belief that the trap never goes without catching fish. Their agricultural adaptation 
Influenced by fertile soils and abundant rainfall, marks a transition from pastoralism to farming. The Lewis connection to the land extends beyond sustenance, embracing the spiritual. Sacred sites like Hemco and Hempo associate with Nyase the Cree found reverence for the supernatural. The legend of the Luo narratives, cultural heartbeat of the Luo resonates through their traditional music. A vibrant tapestry of drums, rattles, horns, and stringed instruments like the Nyatiti. Musical expressions serve not only as entertainment but as conduits for spiritual invocation, rain dances, and healing rituals. The abu, a traditional instrument made of gourds, emanates a deep, resonant sound during significant ceremonies, echoing the cultural significance embedded in every and every note. Heritage of Resilience and Endurance The Lewis Historical Journey From Sudan to Their Settlements Along the River Nile Reflects the ebb and flow of civilizations Marked by calamities, conflicts, and cultural assimilation The nuances of their origin From Tiki to Khartoum Resonate as echoes from a distant past the Lewis encounter with dark-skinned people in South Sudan, leading to the name Joe Oluo Ora people who live ever, reflects a Banu Daidio. Geographic separation, but diverse cultural trajectories. Through encounters, intermarriages, and assimilations, the Luo emerged as a united entity despite diverse ancestral threads. As the Luo community navigates the currents of time, the echoes of their history reverberate in rituals, music, and the collective memory of their people, a journey that transcelebrates Ben to the vibrant tapestry of his cultural odyssey. Through history is marked by a tapestry woven with migration, cultural assimilation, and resilience. Their initiation rites, such as the removal of six front teeth, served as not only a test of courage, but also a profound cultural expression, creating a unique identity within the broader Kenyan landscape. Clans, guided by a supreme chief, Ruth, and adorned in distinctive regalia, played a crucial role in shaping the Ndimo Dideo, Ndideo, 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 the various sub. Groups charted their paths, intermingling with other communities and absorbing diverse cultural elements. The Lua narrative became a mosaic of traditions. The Southern Luo, with roots in fishing, agriculture, and herding communities, established a distinct historical identity. The Durango Luas, once a distinct Bantu ethnic group, underwent a assimilation to Luo culture. The Jao Kongo sub, for emerging fracts is Lulu's story, traversed a journey from western Kenya to Saya, embodying the complex dynamics of Lu migration. The Kizuru Luas, originally a Bantu ethnic group with linguistic similarities to the Guzi people, found common ground with the Luo through intermarriage and cultural exchange. Despite retaining elements of their identity, the Kizuru exemplify the intricate process of cultural assimilation within the Luo community. The Saratiking group in Yimba, Fredo, 
Society Narrative The Lewis Political Unity and Cultural Cohesion Despite historical encounters with indigenous populations, distinguish them as a politico-cultural block in Kenya. Their settlement on the northeastern shores of Lake Victoria, while not a conquest, reflects a gradual integration marked by both cooperation and tension. As the National Museums of the Lokoseg, the cultural practices of the low community, the Trotrotrok, evolved over centuries, adapting to changes while preserving essential elements. The initiation rites, symbolized by the removal of six front teeth from the lower jaw, served as a test of courage and endurance. Beyond their symbolic significance, these rituals held medicinal purposes, addressing conditions like lockjaw. Thank you for watching up to this point. Watch out for the next video in our series. Once again, you are a welcome to the ultimate voyage through the existence, culture, and sense, the secrets of the past, present, and even the mysterious passageways of prehistoric times. As we go across the cosmos and explore the core of human history, culture, and existence, I'm ecstatic to be your guide. <laughs>